Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you some quick tips for organizing and culling your images in Adobe Bridge. Um, so first things first, if you're in Photoshop, the way to get to Adobe Bridge is to go to File and then hit Browse in Bridge, um, or you can hit Alt Control O on your keyboard. Um, if you're on a Mac, it would be Option Command O. So once you click that, it will actually pull up this window here, um, and then you can get started. So this is a folder I set aside for culling this um, particular session. You can navigate in here to where your memory card is located or where your particular um, folder is that you'd like to work on. And then once your folder is pulled up, you can click these. Um, and over here you can see all the data for the file itself, like what your settings were, um, every, everything like that, like when you took the image, um, everything like that. So while you're edit or organizing, sorry, you can actually hit the arrows on your keyboard to kind of sort through here. Um, and as you're going, if an image pops out at you that you really want to edit, um, I would just mark it. And to do that, you can give it a certain amount of stars. Um, now, the images that I really like, I hit Control or Command, if you're on a Mac, Control 5. And that will give that image five stars, as you can see here. And then it's got right here. So um, later on, you can, you can sort through based on the rating you gave your images. So let's say I like this image. I gave it five stars. I'm going to keep scrolling now. Um, Okay, so now I have two that are very similar, this one and this one. So if you wanted to give this one five stars as well, so you could choose later, you can. Or you can right click and you can hit um, label and you can hit review or second or something like that. And this actually just puts a little colorful tab on there. Um, and honestly, you can do this either way. Let's say you didn't want to give this image five, this photo five stars. You wanted to label it approved then you can also, over here on the side, you can see um, and you can click to filter through the images that you marked approved and the images you marked second. And then you can choose later um, between these two. So if that's a little confusing, let me um, get off that for now. Um, I'm actually going to unlabel these here and label, no label. Okay, so and we're just going to use the stars for now so I can show you how to do that one. Um, but when if you do a label, which is the colorful tab, you'll notice those are filtered here. And then if you do the stars, you'll notice those ratings are filtered here. Um, so you can honestly do it either way. And I'll show you another way to do it in just a second. So um, here you can give this one, I don't know, four stars or something like that. So you can go back through or five stars if you wanted to review it um, first. So then you can keep going through. Um, I like that one. She's giving like a little cheesy grin, so maybe I'll see if I can find one. That one's a little bit more natural. That one, they both look great, so I'll give this one five stars. And then I'll go back through and I'll give this one four stars, since I like it just not as much as I like that one. Um, and then you can keep going again and just mark these here with with the rating that you like. So now I've got all these five star images and the ones that I don't really like um, or the ones that don't really jump out at me, I don't really bother giving them a one rating. I feel like it takes a little bit longer. However, you are more than welcome to rate those a one or a two, you know, whatever works best for you. I usually stick with just fives and fours. Um, so that way I'm only marking the ones I really like and then the ones that I, I like just not as much. And um, the good thing about that is that when you rate all of your images with fives or with fours, what you can do is you can come down here where the fives are and you can edit, let's say there's a big gallery here, you can edit all of these, but let's say that you wanted to give your clients a couple extra images, um, you know, as a thank you or something like that, you can always go to your fours and pop those in here and edit a few of those as well to fill your gallery, if that makes sense. So I'm going to undo these. Um, another way you can do it is you can use both the five star and four star ratings and you can also use the colorful tabs to help you sort them. So let's say that I've got, um, let's do all my fives. Okay, so here I've got these two fives and then I've got these two um, as well. So these two are from the same location and these were after we moved. Gosh, I feel like I'm rambling here. I promise I'll make sense in just a second. Okay, so what you can do here is you can give these each a different color. So you can say label um, approved, and you can approve both of these so they're green. Um, and then these five star images over here can be a different color, maybe yellow, or sorry, not approved. We just did that one. Um, oopsie. 
Oops, hang on, sorry, I'm getting a little off track here. Okay, so there we marked that one with blue. So you can right click here and you can hit label review, and now you've got two blue and two green. And what this can help you with is once you sort through all your fives, you now have, um, let's say you had more than four images here, you can edit all of the blue ones that are from that similar location. You can pop all of those open in Adobe Camera Raw and edit those really quickly. And then when you're finished with that, you can open all of your greens from the other location. You can edit those really quickly and batch them all at once. Um, so by sorting them with a color here, you're letting yourself know, okay, all of these Im images were taken in a similar setting. I can edit all of those um, together. If that's too confusing for you, you can leave that out. But basically, it's a way of organizing within your ratings. So if you have a bunch of five-star images, you can separate them by color as well. Honestly, this is personal preference. You can choose whatever works best to help you organize and, and stay focused. Um, and you know whatever is easier for you for you to use or whatever you know makes more sense to you is probably the best one to use because it means you'll work faster and you won't get caught up with all the labels and craziness. So um, if if you think it's easier just to do a keyboard shortcut and Control Five um, to you know mark it um, as a five star image and then move on, that's totally fine. So. Once you're finished and you've got all of your fives, what you can do is you can come in here, you can select all of these, and you can open with your Photoshop version that you want. And um, if you shot in Camera Raw, it's going to open all of these images over here. So now I'm going to show you what I meant by you know the different colors. So now I've got these two images right here, and you could easily select all the blue ones if you've got a lot. And then you can edit these images together. Both of them are selected. So whatever changes you make to one, you're making to the other. Um, and so you know that all of your images that you labeled with blue were taken in the same location. They've all got similar lighting, so it's easier to edit them. And you can straighten the horizon here. Um, you can go to that one. That one's straightened as well. So I hope this is making sense. Basically, once you've done your, you know, let's say you've got these two blue images, you've edited them, we've lowered the highlights a little bit to to fix the grass here. You can warm it up a little, you know, whatever editing process you want to use. And then when you're finished with that, you can move on to your little green section here. And you can select all the images that you marked as green. And then you can straighten those horizons. Um, you can warm those ones up here. Um, basically, like this allows you to edit all of the images that were taken in the same location quickly and easily and efficiently and then get done. Um, and then here's your last one. You can warm that one up a little. Um, so basically you've edited all five of these images really quickly. You can select them all and then you can open these into Photoshop just by hitting open images. So from throwing too much information at you, I apologize. Basically Adobe Bridge makes your life a whole lot easier. You can organize these however you'd like um, and however makes it easier on you so that you know exactly which um, images you want to edit, get done, and processed really quickly. So um, I hope you can see a little love bug there. <laughs> I would edit that out, but that's personal choice as well. Um, so then if you um, needed to do some additional um, editing, you can then do that in Photoshop here. You can clone or you can, you know, clean up distractions, whatever you need to do. Um, and then once you've finished with that and got everything up to par, all you have to do is save and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this really long-winded tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.